Kids can make things really uncomfortable. Why do you do that, kids? Mm -hmm. Why do you embarrass everyone around you? Mommy, why are you peeing out your butt? And he went over to him and he said, hey man, what'd you eat to get that big? <laughs> we don't say things like that. <laughs> Excuse me, he didn't learn that from me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that way, no. Oh my word. Before we get into the super embarrassing things your kids, our kids, all kids have done, please hit subscribe and hit that little bell so that you get all the notifications when we delight you with more stuff in the future. Kids make things uncomfortable because their little minds are just constantly thinking and the things that he's saying are legit things. Well, don't tell my husband that what he said about him was legit because it gave him a complex. Oh. So my husband's laying down on the couch. She and her son are over there about to leave. Her son looks at my husband and says, Hey, you just laying down over there, gonna take a nap with those yellow teeth of yours? <laughs> <laughs> or like my son asking if my friend was pregnant, but she, she's not, you know, oh. she's like, they say such literal things. Yes, like why are you so fat or why is, oh, remember. So she's dating an African American dude and my sons love him. And the first time he came over to my house, they were outside playing and he was like tossing them up in the air and this whole thing. And um, instead of calling him by his name, they called him Mr. Brown. Literal, they think literally. Now, I was embarrassed, were you? Um, I was not embarrassed. I, I was, was like, laughing. they do call him Mr. and his name starts with a B and I think he just got confused. But then I was like, I was taking a shower and my older son was probably four, three and a half or four at the time. And he looks down and he looks back up at me and he goes, so I see you don't have a penis. <laughs> Good observation, bro. But that's not in public, so that's not embarrassing. That's just funny. Well, I think we've only got more in our future. Oh, it's gonna get away. I mean, I, mine are two and five, and they're, they've got so many bombs they're about to drop, I can just feel it. Whether you're a parent or not, you've been around kids that have truly made you want to crawl into a hole and die. So if that has happened to you, share your stories. When you first started that, it almost sounded like you said weenus. Do you guys know what a weenus, weenus. is? It's just get on your elbow. You're Wait, welcome. I can <laughs> squeeze, and you'll never feel. I'm yeah. squeezing as hard as I can. Yeah, I can't feel that. Ah, oh, weenus. It could hang me up by my weenuses and I would never feel it. Oh my god, that would be so strange. <laughs> <laughs> we digress. Uh, all right, bye guys. <laughs> there was this little old lady in a wheelchair and my two-year-old pointed at her and said, monkey! <laughs> she was arthritic. She was arthritic. <laughs> I could not get him out of that situation fast enough. I was like, 